sure this is the place? Yeah. Seems just as crazy to me, too. You sure you read all of the letter? All Director Carbon Company. Distinguido Senor. You know what that means? No, what's that mean? Distinguished gentleman in Spanish. That's me. Please find enclosed an order for 50 pounds, being for the hire of one of your most splendid coaches. As my mission is of a highly confidential nature, I request the principal of your company as driver. If anyone asks you of this, you will please know nothing. Yeah, but where's the meeting place? To save any more questions, I'll read the whole thing. You'll wait at midnight of the 27th of this month on the Menango Road near a signpost which says Burabai. Sign Nina Alvarez from the house of the Marquis Perales, province Estremadura, Spain. But we couldn't want much more than that. This is the place, all right? Yeah. She wouldn't be playing a practical joke, would she? Well, it's a pretty expensive sense of humor. The bank paid the check. Yeah. What's your time now, Chris? It's a little before one, and please don't ask me again. Chris, over there. Mr. Cobb? Nina Alvarez? I am Carlos Bengaki. Mr. Cobb, my husband. How do you do? Well, now, the first thing I want to know is where we're headed. We would like you to drive us to Sydney with all the speed you can. And do not stop for anyone. Anyone at all, you understand? Those are your instructions? Fine. We'll stop for no one. Now, let me give you a hand. No, no, I can manage. He's asleep. All right. Yeah, thank you. our actions appear melodramatic? Well, to be very honest with you, yes, I do. It is chilly. I hope he does not catch a cold. We fuss too much. Well, you see, this is our first. <laughs> I kind of thought it was. For most young people, this is a happy event. But not for you? Someday, perhaps, we will find a place we can call our own. Where was your home? Well, near San Sebastian. It's a mighty cute baby. But now we are going to New Zealand. Perhaps there we can live unafraid. Well, what's there to be afraid of? It would be hard for you, an American, to understand. A senior cop could be perhaps stop. I would like to eat some milk. Well, certainly, sure. I want to have another bottle ready for him. Dan, pull up, will you? Cannot be too careful. Hello. You said something about being afraid. Nina and I were married two years ago in Spain without the consent of her guardian. Does that make such a big difference? In my country, senor, to oppose the marriage plans of one's family is a very serious thing. Enough to make you run away? Nina comes from a very wealthy family. Mine was not so fortunate. Now Nina's uncle has come here to take her home. You mean he followed you here? We thought we would be safe here. 
We heard much about the gold they were finding. Did you have any luck? <laughs> no. For a while, I worked on a farm, and we were happy. Until Nina's uncle came. And he's the reason you're trying to escape to New Zealand. And the reason for the secrecy. Well, why don't you just go back to Spain? After all, you are legally married, aren't you? Why, of course, senor. If we return to Spain, Nina's family would make life unbearable for us. And I love her too much to let that happen. Uh, just like Romeo and Juliet. I hope these two have a happier ending. Chris, are they really as strict as that in Spain? About who can marry and who can't? Well, not only Spain, a lot of other countries too. I'm glad I live here. Those two obviously think the same thing. Oh, 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 oh. Chris, look. Horses tied down there can't be bush rangers. Why have we stopped? Something across the road down there could be an ambush. Oh, please, Mr. Cobb, you must help us. What can we do? Carlos. Beyond the roadblock, the road makes a sharp turn. Now you take Nina and the baby down through here. Make a wide circle and hide down below somewhere. When you hear two cracks of the whip, you'll know it's safe. Thank you, Mr. Cobb. Nina, come. Dan, take your coat off. Forgive us, senor. It is necessary that we search all coaches out of the district. We are looking for two travelers, senor. Well, you can see for yourself. There's nobody aboard but us. That's right. Nobody there. Just as a matter of interest, what's so important to you about these travelers? It is a family matter, senor. Well, can you tell me what they look like, just in case I should run across them? Two young people, senor. The girl, about 20, with dark hair and dark eyes, and uh, very pretty. The man, about my height, and a year older than his sister. Sister? Well, if we should see a young man and his sister, we'll let you know. Thank you, senor. It would be better for their own sake. Carlos, it's Jose. Si. Okay, it's Labra. Senor Cognos, ayudar. Vamos. said was true. I know. Could be we're involved in a kidnapping. Thank you, Mr. Cobb. Thank you. It was my uncle. We saw him. Well, we can't talk about it now. Climb aboard, please.
All right, Dan. Thank you again, Mr. Cobb. I, I cannot tell you what this means to us both. Your uncle seemed like a very nice man, Carlos. On first meeting, but he's really a deception. He's not the only deception, is he? What do you mean? Nina, are you sure there's nothing about your story you'd like to change? Yes, I am sure. Well, how about your brother? Is he sure, too? My brother? Yes. I think your uncle ought to know. All right, Mr. Cobb. Galos is my brother. Well, who does the baby belong to? That's mine. Oh, sure. Of course it is. No, no please, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Please, Mr. Cobb. Back. Please, don't take it out. There's only one question I'd like to ask. Yes, Mr. Cobb? Why? And this time, please, I'd appreciate the truth. If people want to carry pet lambs around disguised as babies, that's just fine with me, provided it's legal. All right, we are not going to New Zealand. We are trying to get back to Spain. With that? You would not understand. I'll make an effort. Senor, do you know the meaning of the Spanish word Merlino? Well, certainly, it's a breed of sheep. The finest breed. Once Spain was the only country in the world where Merinos could be found. Spain produced the best wood in the world. Our family was then very wealthy. We had the best Merinos in Spain. But one day, some of our finest sheep were stolen. Then came the war with France. Our family's estates were broken up. Our father tried to rebuild that flocks. But all the Merinos had been taken and were scattered all over the world. Only in Australia had they improved the wheat. So you came here to take one back? to help my father. What would a lamb like that be worth? A purebred merino like that one, when it grows into a fine ram, would be worth 5,000, maybe 10,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. And how much did you pay for this? Well, where we got him from... Uh... From your uncle? From a glacier. He's very rich. He has plenty more. Then you did steal it? No. We will pay for it later, but we did not steal it. Well, maybe not to your way of thinking. Nina? Carlos, I think you had better return the lamb. We will not. Well, then I can't take you any farther. Mr. Cobb, you are going back on your promise. Promise? You agree to our hiring your coach. What business is it of yours if we have a lamb? Nina, I won't be a party to sheep stealing. We are not stealing. And you are a man of your word. Well, Nina, just a minute. We have paid you the money. Now, I demand that you drive us to Sydney. After you return the lamb. I will not. I will not. I've waited long enough. This is a waste of time. Mr. Dyson, you promised to wait until three. I should have gone for the police in the first place. But they must come this way. It's the only road out of the district. I know I can persuade them to return your little lamb. You'd better, otherwise they go to jail. Until three. All right, then. Ten more minutes, then I ride for the police. You know something? I'm glad you're not married. Nina, what about that photograph? Chris said that you really did have a picture of a baby. That was my niece, taken before we left Spain. Dan, we did want to buy a lamb, but we had no money left. We had to take one. We couldn't go back without it. Mm. 
Well, what about this man, this Spanish man that held us up at the roadblock? Was he really your uncle? Yes, he was trying to stop us. He is trying to keep you out of jail. Do you mean to say the owner would send us to jail just for borrowing a little lamb? You bet he would. But my father, it means so much for him to breed his Marinos again. More than the risk of not ever seeing his children again. Huh? You could get a 25-year sentence. Too soon. You are right, Dan. We must take the lamb back. All right, let's go then. I apologize. Apologize? You were right. We were wrong. I would like to go back and find my uncle and return the lamb. Nina! No podemos! Carlos, we must. Are you ready, Senor Cobb? I just hope we can find your uncle in time. Vamanos, Carlos. It is ten minutes already? Right. Well, perhaps if we went back that way. No, the police. Now oh, that way. Come on. saying if I came across a couple of young people, I'd let you know? Yes. Well, here they are. Nina! Carlos! Where did you find them? Yeah, well, I didn't exactly find them. They were with me all the time. They were with you? Uh, why didn't you tell me? Well, I, uh... Where's the land? Well, this is Mr. Dyson, the owner. You'll find it in the bassinet. There's nothing there. The senor has a most discouraging sense of humor. Please, I know the lamb was there. It was. Si, it was there. I saw it. <laughs> you, who are so fond of deception. Another joke. That's no joke. That's a valuable animal. Valuable enough to make most men want it. You think I know where it yes, is? Yes, senor, I think you do. Well, you... You've been deceitful before. Why not now? It must be here somewhere. I've had enough. I'm going to the police. No, please, Mr. Dyson. Just a moment. You would not let those two young people get into trouble. Well, now, take it easy, Jose. No, Senor Cobb, you must not hit him. It is not ethical. He has challenged you to a duel. A duel? Well, you just can't go around challenging people to duels in this country. It's not legal. Perhaps the senor would like to settle it right now in more conventionals. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, Jose, Dan, how do I get into these things? No, 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 no. Jose, don't you say it's a duro, okay? I hid the little lamb. Mr. Cobb did not take it. You know where it is? Yes. Uh, you see, when Mr. Cobb told me I had to return it, I put it in with a flock of passing sheep. A mob of sheep? Yes. How do I get it back now? I will take you there. All right, come on. I intended to return for it later and take it back to our father in Spain. You are not going back to Spain. But we are. Your father could see little future for you in your own country. That is why he sent you to live here. And he has written to me, asking me to keep you both here. Oh, no, no, Uncle Jose. Until he joins us. That is a happier reason that I was looking for you. You see, he too considers he is young enough to start a new life in a new country. <laughs> Forgive us, Mr. Cobb. You and I will talk later.
You put a lamb in my mob while I was down by the water? That is right. A Marino. Huh? I don't like your chances of getting him back. Why not? Over there, they're earmarking and docking all the new season's lambs. Once they get into that yard and get the station brand on them, the boss will never let them go. Anyhow, that's the law. If I find a sheep in my paddock, he's got no brand on him, by crikey, he's mine. Well, mister, it's very important that we get this lamb back. How are you going to tell one from the other in that mob? <laughs> this sheep dog of yours looks like a pretty smart animal. <laughs> Another year, mister, and I'll be out rounding up the sheep, and she'll be telling me what to do. <laughs> now, the lamb was wrapped in a shawl. Do you think your dog could sniff it out from that? Would you get it, Nina, please? Yes, Mr. Cobb. Oh, I don't know about that. As I say, she's a pretty smart dog, and she could do much more than you and I, but... Uh, uh... Well, if she could, would it prove to you that it was Mr. Dyson's lamb? My oath, it would. Let's give it a whirl. Gotta be. Nellie wouldn't make two mistakes. I think it is that one. Well, there's one way to find out. Get the bottle, Nina. All right. 